Eye disease, called diabetic retinopathy, can develop in people with diabetes. This is one of the leading causes of treatable vision loss in diabetics. This occurs when high blood sugar levels over many years causes damage to the blood vessels in the retina. The damaged blood vessels can block up or leak, causing bleeding and impaired blood circulation, resulting in damage to the retina of the eye, which is vitally important for vision. Damaged retina can lead to irreversible vision loss and blindness. There are two main stages of diabetic retinopathy. Non-proliferative diabetic retinopathy is the early stage of diabetic eye disease, where the damaged blood vessels in the retina leak, resulting in swelling and bleeding of the retina. When the central part of the retina, called the macula, gets swollen, it is called macular edema. Macular edema is the most common reason why people with diabetes lose their vision. Proliferative retinopathy is a more advanced stage of diabetic retinopathy and it is less common. It is characterized by more severe impairment of the retinal circulation due to blockage of the damaged retinal blood vessels. It can lead to sight threatening bleeding inside the eye or retinal detachment. Both of these complications can lead to blindness. Most often, Diabetic retinopathy causes no symptoms, such as eye pain or difficulty seeing, and hence, affected persons may not even know that they have this sight-threatening condition. This is why it is critically important that all persons with diabetes should have regular, periodic screening eye examination with their eye specialist. Diabetic retinopathy is diagnosed by your eye specialist looking through specialized microscope and optical lenses to see inside your eye. To perform a detailed comprehensive retinal examination, dilating eye drops are used to widen the pupil. Specialized retinal imaging tests may also be required depending on the findings and these include 3D OCT retinal scans and angiograms. Eye examinations to diagnose and monitor diabetic retinopathy can be done comfortably, relatively quickly, and without the need to go to hospital. Treatment of diabetic retinopathy depends on the type and severity of your eye condition, as well as whether there are vision-threatening problems such as swelling of the macula or abnormal blood, ves blood vessels that are bleeding. When diabetic retinopathy is mild and vision is unaffected, your eye specialist may not recommend any eye treatment, but just keep you under ongoing monitoring. More severe or sight-threatening diabetic retinopathy may require eye treatments, which include intravitreal eye medications, retinal laser treatment, and retinal surgery. Please note that this video has been designed to be a supplemental educational material only and further tailored discussion and advice will be provided by your retinal specialist.